This is Joe from Art Alien TV, and today I've got something interesting to show you. Now, some of you may have seen this before, and what I've done here is I've actually made this gigapan a lot more contrasted, with deeper shadows, so we can see some of these objects in better form, and you can actually see more of the what were previously hidden details in some of these objects. Now, there's at least two or three things in this pan that I'm going to show you. There's lots of other little weird things that I could show you, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to concentrate on the main objects here that are easier to see and a bit larger and closer to the rover. And the first thing, now, this is Sol 3405. Okay, now, this set of images was taken a while back. The first thing I want to show you is this. Now, I'm calling this thing a mechanoid. In other words... A mechanical creature. Now that may sound crazy, right? But when you look at it, we've got this what seems to be some kind of creature or object that's shaped a bit like a creature here, sitting with these mechanical arms. We got a we got a shoulder here and a mechanical arm here, and then we have what seems to be le like legs here or something, and it's holding an object here. Now, it's not very obvious what you're looking at straight away. And really, you may want to pause the video in certain places to look at some of this stuff. Because we have some quite complex mechanical detail. A mechanical arm, you can see a bolt here where my cursor is. You've got a bolt there. And we've got a pointed arm-like structure sticking out. There's something on top of that. You've got a head here with a crest on the top. There's a crest there. You've got a little ape-like face or head just here. Right? And then we have down here what seems to be a leg and possibly another leg. I'm not, I'm not sure what to make of this, to be honest. It's very, very strange. And... Whilst I was going over this again, I was like, what the hell are we looking at? This may even be upside down or flipped on one side. I don't know. But what is clear is that this thing has mechanical arms on it. At least one mechanical arm here. Is it possible that this is some kind of being or was some kind of being that had a replacement arm or was some kind of cyborg? I don't know, but it's very, very strange. Now, let me show you on the actual Gigapan. It's just down here. Now, we've got all this rocky material here. Some of this is concrete, some of it looks like petrified wood we have all sorts of weird material here right this isn't actually very far from the mars doorway that i showed a couple of years back it's it's near there um it's not that far away from there it's probably about a uh, 100 meters or so from that doorway or less maybe 80 meters there's the head there this comes back we've got a crest on the top then we have this arm here with a bolt here. The arm seems to have something on top of it here, like a, some weird little thing there which seems to have bits sticking out of it, like limbs. Very strange. And then we have what seems to be a hip or, or something and a, and a leg coming across here and possibly another one here. But it seems to be holding an object here and I can't make out what this object is. And there's like a a limb coming off there as well. Possibly a leg or an arm or something with different parts to it. This is so strange. And, and uh, it reminded me a bit of that thing I showed recently, the Demars robot, where you have what looked like mechanical parts. Now, it doesn't mean that this was a robot. What this may be is evidence that the Martians were possibly replacing limbs with artificial limbs. Maybe. Okay. I can't prove that either way. I don't know. But what's clear about this is that that is a mechanical part. 
And whether this was a creature or this was some kind of machine, I don't know for sure. But it, it's very, very strange, and it doesn't look like a normal rock. This is encrusted in, in um, minerals and, and fossilised. It could have been sat here for 50,000 years or 5,000 years or whatever. It may have been covered up and buried for a long time. It, it, there's lots of large rocks surrounding these objects. And this, there, this may have been covered up until recently. So it may have only been uncovered. The sand may have blown away fairly recently, uncovering this thing. Okay, so we don't know how long that's been there, but it's probably been there a very long time, I would say. It, this is so weird. It's hard to explain this stuff because we, I really don't know what this is. I'm just trying to explain why I think it could be, maybe. Okay, we've got this part sticking out here. We've got a joint there. And this bone-shaped part joint it seems to join to this part here, which in turn may be joined to this part. So we've got multiple parts there, which join onto this thing, which may have been part of a body or a creature or something else. I don't know. And this thing seems to be eating it or holding it or doing something with it. Okay. Very strange indeed. Here's the negative of that. And you can see some of that stuff better. You can see that bolt. Let me go back a little bit. I'll, I'll highlight the bolt for you. There's the head and the crest on the back. And down here, that's the bolt. So the mechanical arm or par partly mechanical arm. There's the shoulder. That's the elbow where the bolt is. Then we have that pointed, almost blade-like limb sticking out, whatever that is, okay? Perhaps this isn't a mechanical arm, perhaps this is an arm here holding a blade which it's using to cut this thing up here. Let me know what you think in the comments because I mean some of this stuff is so crazy that I'm finding. So that's what I've called the mechanoid and then looking the other way is this stuff on the ground here and we have this thing. Now this, I don't know what to call this either, I, I don't know where to call it a trailer, part of a boat, part of a Vehicle, I don't know what it is, but it's mechanical and it's wreckage. We have an object here, which is kind of rectangular, with these weird parts to it. And just on the edge of it here, on the front or back or whatever this is, we have something hanging down that has bolts going through it. You can see a bolt here and a bolt here. We have two arms coming down attached to this thing. It's got a weird head sh sort of shaped part to it here. Okay, I'm not saying it is a head or I'm just saying it's shaped like one. Um, now in this, this all looks like one object, but it's not. Because what I did, which is partly why I wanted to redo this, recover this area, is that I've, um, I've got another angle of this thing. This is super strange. Now let me show you the actual clips I've got up here. Now, this is the colorized clip that I showed in the previous video, which is a bit dull, but it gives you a good overview of what we're looking at, right? I'll show you with the magnifier. There's the object hanging down. Now, we have what looks like a metal piece of wreckage or part of a trailer or boat or something like that with this thing hanging off the back. And then we have overlapping material here on this object here. And the possible thing inside there okay now it's hard to focus on that let me go back we have this thing hanging down with bolts two arms with bolts holding it onto this object here and then we have overlapping what looks like metal material or or some kind of material overlapping with something inside it here as a negative of that and you can see these bolts 
in the negative quite well. There's one there. There's one there, and there's some on the arm behind. So I've got two arms holding this thing below, right? Now, this is the other angle. Now, I've got a gigapan of this you can link to here. This is the other angle of the same object looking down on it from above, whereas this is looking across more at it, okay? Now, now you can see some of this stuff a bit more clearly. There's that overlapping material folded or wrapped around something here. So there's something wrapped in there, it seems. I don't know what it is. And it's a weird detail on this thing, which looks like part, some kind of wreckage of some sort. And then we have that thing on the front or back of it here. So we've got the arm here, arm here, and then two objects attached to it, which are off the ground. So this is holding these things off the ground. Now, I don't really know what this is, whether it's part of a trailer. I, I, I think I called it in the folder. The folder name says trailer or, or, or wreckage or something like that. Trailer wreckage. It's really, really odd. Now, I don't know what this part of. It's obviously mechanical, especially when you see it from this angle here. And you can see that folded or overlapping material here. This head shape thing is behind this thing here, which is attached to this bolt and arm coming down. And then there's another arm behind. Very, very strange. I really don't know what to make of this thing, but there's some very weird, interesting details in here. And I really don't think this is just a rot. This is wreckage. But a lot of this stuff is broken and it's eroded and it's very hard to tell with a lot of these things what they actually are. But sometimes we see wreckage like this that's almost intact. Rocks don't have arms with bolts going through them. Rocks don't have what look like metal parts and overlapping material here. Right? They just don't. Um, not normal rocks anyway. That is some kind of wreckage. And then we have the amazing mechanoid right here. And even in black and white, it looks really cool. This is a bit over dark, but you can see the shadows, you can see the shapes. You can see that blade-like thing with something on top of it there. Is this some kind of creature cutting up some or butchering something with a blade-like arm here or holding a blade? Is this an arm with a hand here holding up like a knife? This is a real visual puzzle, this one. And this is what I love about some of these Mars images. They're real visual puzzles and they really stretch your, your mind and your imagination. You've got to use your imagination a little bit to try and work out what this could possibly be. And uh, if you're going to actually work out what's going on in the world or on other worlds like Mars, you need an imagination to think through the possible scenarios of what we could be actually looking at. Check out the links below. There's um, a few gigapads to look at with different angles of these things. And uh, it's pretty obvious to me what we're looking at here is something mechanical because this thing seems to be holding or attached to some kind of blade or, or with a bolt here. Is that a sword or, or a blade or a knife or a mechanical arm on the shoulder here? See that one more time? The mechanoid. The Mars Mechanoid. What is it doing? What is it? What does it represent? Thanks for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check me out on Twitter at Artelian TV. X, if you want to call it that. Check out Mars Magazine on Facebook, my Mars group. Come along and join that. It's absolutely free. You can check out a lot of these things before they go on to YouTube and other places. So thanks for watching. I will see you soon.